Yeah, absolutely. This is Miles, who he is, and um, what he and we expect. Really, just really quality job across the board. Control counts. Um, good live fastball. Good life to it. Um, good breaking ball. Good sec every secondary pitch hitting. Um, just in control. You mentioned his curveball before the game, and that seemed to be a pitch tonight that he continues to use. Yeah, really it's a pitch well. we saw um, last start out against Washington. It's a big pitch because you know it creates a lot of different eye levels. Um, it's got a lot of bite to it too, so um, it's a tough pitch to put a good swing on. Excuse me. Did he allow me to stay in the game? No, he was uh, he was comfortable with where where he was at 98 pitches and seven. You know, we didn't feel like he could keep going for try to get a complete game, and um, you know there may be an opportunity for that at some point today. Wasn't that? And he had done his job. We had we had um, put together a nice game, and, and he um, it was time for you know bring it home with somebody else. Jordan had, and had a chance to get into a game in about eight days, so he gets the opportunity tonight. Is that, I guess it's partially about work, but also getting out work against Harper and Hoskins makes for an interesting test for him. Yeah, that just happened to be the, the way it worked out. Um, you know, he hadn't been on the mound. If he had not pitched today, it had been seven, the seventh day. So, um, you know, Brevy was able to be efficient for his eighth inning of work, and, you know, we uh, let him go back out, obviously, want to get another out or so, and he did that. and. Worked out to where the, the, the at bats were the at bats, but want to get Jordan out there and get get some touches on the mound. Can you get uh, Dabo to come to every game? <laughs> yeah, he's got a um, you know he's good. He's he's definitely a, a friend of the club. Um, good, great guy. You know, great um, coach, obviously, but just a just a good guy and enjoy you know talking to him. And he hung out with the guys today, and you know we created a nice relationship in spring training. And, um, you know, he, he's, a, he's a positive guy, he's a winning guy, and um, we talk about culture a lot, and he just, um, it was interesting because he came in and, and uh, just talked about what a, how um, impressed he was with, with how we compete, because he watches our games quite a bit, I guess, and um, so, friend of the program, we'll have him back. Is, huh? is this what, sorry, go ahead, yeah. Is this what you had in mind when you put, decided to put Paul at, at three? I mean, or has he exceeded your expectations in that spot, and how does, Who's hitting before him and after him help him? Yeah, the good thing about Paul is he's a, just a good player, right? I mean, you know, a couple of nice plays a day, and um, you know, as far as where you put him, he's he's excelled in that spot prior, and then it just it did make sense, you know, to to me and us at least, um, with Carp and Goldie. Um, he's a conscientious guy, so he's going to pay attention to the game. He's going to see how uh, they're getting pitched, uh, and there's no breather there. Um, you know, and, and uh, you know, you have to work, navigate Carp, who had another nice night tonight, swung the bat well, and um, made a nice play himself. And uh, but you navigate those two guys, they're just not a breather. And then you got Ozuna, Martinez, Yadi, and that's just you know. And then you keep going. It's just um, Chris Carpenter was in Washington and um, was talking to the, to the guys in Baltimore and just said, "Look, I love the way you guys take at bats because I'm looking at it from a pitcher's perspective. There's just no." There's no no breathing room, and um, Polly definitely helps create that. Given Velasquez's last start when he had 99 pitches and not even four innings, was one of the keys to get his pitch count up as high as you could, as quick as you could tonight? Um, you know what? We, we we like to get pitch counts up. There's no question about that. Um, you know, we have a feeling that if we're taking good swings on pitches, um, then we're going to have good at bats, and we're going to have good results, and have a chance to do damage. Um, and then, you know, pitch counts can be driven up in that regard too, because um, guys now have to be a little more careful. Um, so, you know, we we have that plan pretty much every night, making sure we're getting good pitches, putting good swings on them. We did it tonight, and then, um, you know, make sure we don't we don't expand the zone. So that usually leads to a higher pitch count. It was about May 15th last year and the worm started to turn for Carp a little bit. We're getting close to that now. What is he starting to look like the guy who was locked in for that big part yeah, of the Yeah, I don't year? think it was a question. You know, me and Ollie turned to each other about three days ago and said, you know, he's, he's and actually for me it was an, um, you know, it's hard to say that you can get too much out of batting practice. You know, Carp works hard and BP and all their guys do, but you could just see it kind of click a little bit in the way he was, he was, Staying through the ball, it was. He was the first day in, um, so we started seeing just better, better, better passes the ball, and and start translating the games. And you know we know him; he knows himself. Just a matter of time.
realize it's really obvious that you want to win at home, but to pile up the wins at home, how much does that play into where you guys want to be at the end of the year and the importance of winning games here? Yeah, we just want to win games, but it's obviously important to take care of your, your, you know, your business at home and play well at home. Um, you know, we just want to play good baseball, and um, but you know, we're we're getting we're looking to get wins every night, and so they. You know, look up and take it day by day and, and look up where the body of work takes us. But it is important for sure to be able to, you know, play well at home.